Welcome to Tasting the Tri-State. Thanks for joining us as we travel the Tri-State finding the best local restaurants in the area. Meet the people who started them, the chefs who make the delicious cuisine, and the patrons who love it. Our goal is to make you hungry, so you too will go out and taste the Tri-State. Today, join me, Lori Maynard, at The Deli in the Old National Bank headquarters. The Deli was formerly known as Fresh Harvest Deli. Owners Scott and Patty Nickens say everyone has always called their restaurant The Deli, so they've decided to embrace the name. The Deli is famous for their awesome paninis. South of the border panini. They are so good. That's my regular. That's what I get every time. <laughs> I got chili and panini. I got the duo today. And yes, I got the south of the border panini and it was really good. The south of the border. It's like a chipotle mayonnaise with uh, pepper jack cheese and grilled chicken and whatever else I want on it. You can put whatever you like on your panini. Today they will kick it up with the all new pizza panini. Everybody's had a panini. Well, we decided we could take a personal pan pizza and make a panini on it. Stay tuned. I'll be back with Scott Nickens next here on Tasting the Tri-State, brought to you by Expressway Dodge. Tasting the Tri-State. Tasting the Tri-State, brought to you by Expressway Dodge. Ed, what are you doing up here? I'm here to demonstrate just how low we can get the prices at ExpressWayOnline.com. Get it? Expressway Online. Shop all seven Expressway stores anytime. Ten brands and always the largest selection of vehicles in the Tri-State. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh yeah, I got this. Whee! That really had to hurt. The Good Samaritan Home is independently owned and operated and offers residential living and Alzheimer's care. The Good Samaritan Home is more than just a job because for me, caring for my residents is a privilege. It's like caring for my own family. Over time, the residents become a part of your life. There's nothing like the feeling of a resident hugging you to remind you how awesome it is to work here. The Good Samaritan Home is a non-for-profit health care ministry affiliated with United Church of Christ. Call or visit goodsamhome.org. At IBW Local 16, helping business in the Tri-State is an everyday thing. We wanted the new arena to be built right, safely, on time, and under budget. So we turned to IBEW Local 16 to get the job done. At the Acropolis, we use IBW Local 16 electricians. They do a fantastic job for us. How can IBW Local 16 help your business today? What might this be? A black widow spider. Two little mice, cicada killer bees in my backyard, an army of ants marching on my kitchen counter, a brown recluse spider waiting in my bed. Paul McMahon exterminating at 475-1100. Who can help you? McMahon can. Not sure if you can trust your cooling system to handle the extreme this season? Then it's high time to outfit your home with a brand that generations have recognized for extreme rugged reliability. Your indoor outfitter has a selection of Coleman home comfort products that keeps you cool on those hot and muggy days ahead and saves energy with environmentally friendly performance. Get up to a $1,700 rebate with financing available. Go to ColemanAC.com for a dealer near you. Welcome back to Tasting the Tri-State. Join me now at The Deli with Chef Scott Nickens. Scott Nickens, owner of Fresh Harvest Deli. How did you get started in the industry? Well, I, you know, was when I was in high school, I took a senior foods class as an elective, and I just loved it. And once I got out of high school, then um, I got right into the food business. I, my first job was with uh, Oak Meadow Country Club. Oh, wow. I was a bus boy and I hated it. You'd I, rather be preparing yeah, the food. Yeah, because I just didn't, you know, I didn't interact as well, you know, on the service side. So uh, the chef offered me a job in the kitchen uh, prepping salads. And this was 1977, so I've been in the kitchen ever since. I moved to Texas uh, in 1980, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. there I served a culinary apprenticeship, worked in a real nice property there in Dallas, it was called the Adolphus Hotel. Just really, I learned a lot and uh, met some great people. 
got to do a lot of great stuff. And took all your knowledge and came back to Evansville? Yeah, we decided we wanted to be closer to family and, uh, you know, we don't have the great culinary tastes in this area that we had in Dallas or some of the bigger cities, but what we've done is we've sort of parlayed that into a, a, a real nice, uh, we do everything fresh from scratch, uh, but we're only open for lunch. So no nights, no weekends, no holidays. That's kind of our uh, our, our motto. Time for so, family. Yeah, it's a great food job. But what it's you do is so fresh and so good. I see you at Schnucks. Our kids are friends from high school. We've known you for a decade and a half, two decades. Right. And uh, we have followed you from place to place, from farmer's market to the old post office to here. And you have a huge following. We think we've been coming since they were down. What was it called? Market. Farmer's Market. We're, we're blessed that uh, any uh, venture that we've done downtown has just been a success from day one. That's awesome. Yeah. That is great. And here, here is, this is our, traditional, What this is what yeah. you're known for. I always get the trio. I mean, they always kind of know what I'm going to have even before I start. Is that edamame? It is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Trio salad sampler and it's really really popular uh, and I you know I went ahead and, and featured the chicken salad the pasta salad and our green salad which is really uh, uh, really a neat salad uh, we use a, a Greek salad olive in there a kalamata mm -hmm. uh, we make our own homemade dressing it's got artichokes in it you know spring mix so it's got all the the, the right uh, ingredient uh, just to make it a really fantastic salad. Uh, the chicken salad, mm. uh, we feature with grapes and uh, uh, people mm. love it. Mm -hmm. it's well seasoned and uh, it's it's got a little tanginess to it. Yes. Is that lemon or vinegar? You're not going to tell me. <laughs> that's, that's our secret. That's fine. That's our secret. And, uh, Delicious. And the pasta salad we make every day. We started out making a lot of different pastas. And we did tortellini with pesto, and, mm -hmm. and we did a, a, a tricolored spirale or spiral pasta. Yes. And it, th this one was the one we we keyed on. This one was the one that really was uh, good, and they wanted it every day. And, and you know, when we didn't have it, they complained. So we <sighs> simply make one pasta salad, and that's all we make. And a muffin comes. That's an orange blossom muffin. I'm going to and it's, see uh, your orange. It's uh, really it, it's really good. It makes kind of a, a nice uh, little desserty, uh, mm -hmm. fresh uh, item to have after you've eaten your trio. That's a lot delicious. of people like to have it with a cup of coffee. Or... Mm -hmm. mm. It's delicious. Good, it? Your salad dressing is very unique. And th this is our own salad dressing. We make it from scratch. Uh, it's a, I call it a creamy Sicilian vinaigrette. I, I, I got the basic recipe from a, from a fellow that I met in Dallas who was from Sicily. And of course, I've made some changes and added a few things and taken a few things away to make it my own. Nice, which is fresh. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. That's you have really a beautiful the key. place. I mean, our, our door says fresh, and we try to emulate that in everything we do. Thanks, Scott. Stay tuned. Coming up, you will see a great new Nickens invention the whole family played a part in. I'll be back with Scott and the all new Pizza Nini. Oh, I was struggling just to keep up with my kids. Now I can run and play with them. I'm off my cholesterol and blood pressure medications, making my annual checkup a whole lot less nerve-wracking. My attitude and outlook is so much more positive. A good workout is like therapy for me. I want to be there for my family and my children. I think they'd like me sticking around a little longer. It's not about what you lose. It's about what you gain at Bob's Gym. Promark is a leading custom screen printing and embroidery company specializing in all types of custom products to get your business noticed. We offer a full service art department, in-house screen printing, embroidery, and even roll label production. And because we are locally owned, our clients benefit from quicker turnaround time and direct contact with the most knowledgeable customer service available in the industry. Call Promark and let us assist you in finding a product that will help you promote your company. Promark, we sell attention. Frost insulators, local 37, yeah. They insulate the USA and the train to know just how. Industrial insulation, 
1953, F.T. Kelly and Sons in Evansville has kept the tri-state swimming with custom in-ground pools. If you can dream it, F.T. Kelly can build it. Get a free estimate on how F.T. Kelly can change your life with the pool of your dreams. Along with pool supplies, full-service openings, closings, repairs, and replacements. Your family will love F.T. Kelly and Sons grills, spas, and accessories, too. For three generations, F.T. Kelly and Sons Evansville, east and west. Ellington Fine Cabinetry is the standard for quality craftsmanship. At Ellington Fine Cabinets, they take pride in taking care of their customers with a welcoming spirit and attention to detail. Customers are treated like family at Ellington. With 40 years of experience, you'll get the best in quality craftsmanship. All the wood cabinets are made right here in the Tri-State and are custom made to fit your space and your style. Visit the Ellington Showroom at 101 North Governor and let your dreams begin with Ellington Fine Cabinetry. With a large, fully certified and licensed team of plumbers and a large fleet of trucks, you can rely on Allstott Plumbing for your home or business. They have the manpower to get to your job fast, and you can put your trust in the expert technicians from Allstott Plumbing. They use the latest equipment to get your residential or commercial plumbing repairs completed quickly and efficiently. They even offer 24-hour emergency service. Call today or find out more on the web at allstottplumbing.com. Ed, what are you doing up here? I'm here to demonstrate just how low we can get the prices at ExpressWayOnline.com. Get it? Expressway Online? Shop all seven Expressway stores anytime. Ten brands and always the largest selection of vehicles in the Tri-State. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh yeah, I got this. Whee! That really had to hurt. Welcome back to Tasting the Tri-State at the Deli, formerly Fresh Harvest Deli at Old National Bank in downtown Evansville. Get ready, Scott Nickens is about to knock our socks off. We are making pizza nini. What goes into a pizza nini? Well, at Fresh Harvest Deli. Well, the thing that we, uh, that we like to do here is we like to think about ways that we can be unique. And, 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 and one of the things that I've done over the years is try to give a signature to my food. And that's what I would say to anybody, a home cook or a, a professional cook, find your own taste mm -hmm. and make it your own, okay? Um, my taste is spicy. Okay. So I would like to add in, would that be something or is it a unique seasoning? Well, yeah, like you know, seasoning? like for me it's a unique seasoning, but okay. you take you take emerald, he has his essence. Yes. And you take yes. uh, Jacques Pepin, he has his herbs de Provence. Right. You know, these are right. these are things that they come up with that are are, are unique to them. Mm -hmm. And we have our own unique spice blend that we use in our soups and and that sort of thing. But this, what this really is, this is a twist on a panini. Everybody's had a panini. Well, we decided we could take a personal pan pizza, mm -hmm. so to speak. This is a par baked pizza crust and make a panini on it. So Great. what I'd like for you to do, if you want, sure. we're gonna make a pizza nini. Pizza and, uh, nini! This is our Italian, this is the meat for our Italian sandwich, and what we like to do is we like to put our Italian dressing on here. This is uh, the same dressing we put on our salad. Is this roast beef, capicola? Capicola and, and turkey. And turkey. Yeah. Okay. So we put our, our, our house salad dressing on there instead of tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. So it makes it unique. And what I want you to do is just cut. Can you do that? I can, can do, you cut want me to do mine or both? Do both of them. I'll do both of them. You just cut it into uh, strips. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your knives are much sharper than mine at Well, keep your fingers back. Sure. And then what we do with that meat is we'll lay it on the pizza. Instead of traditionally putting it on a sandwich, we're putting it on the the, 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 the pizza dough. All that on All one. That. Yeah, heck yeah. Wow. And then you can put whatever you like on your panini. Let's you like say onions. how onions are great. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Olives. Olives. Great. 
great. That's why you like it? Sure. And then what we do, instead of putting mozzarella, we use the same cheese that we use on our Italian mm -hmm. sandwich, which is provolone. Which nice is close melting to mozzarella. cheese. Yeah, it's close to mozzarella, but you know, it, it, it's just, again, a little dip, a little something a little different, a little signature. Um, now, we have, we have several that we offer. We have a south of the border, which tr traditionally comes with pepper jack cheese. So if we do a south of the border pizza nini, we use pepper jack cheese. Nice. Or if we do a chicken bacon ranch, we can use cheddar cheese. And, and, you know, and, and so what we do now is we've got a little convection oven here. And we'll take this. And we'll run this through the convection oven. And it'll take about five minutes to come through. We'll come out the other side. The cheese will be melted. It'll be bubbly. It'll be nice and hot and very tasty. Do we put the top on it? No, we're going to serve it just like this. We're just going to cut it in the Open slices. face. Yeah. So it's like a cross between a pizza, pizza? and a panini. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful. And, and the final product. The pizza panini is ready. Woohoo! What we're going to do is bring it back over to our cutting board. Yes. That looks beautiful. And I'm going to let you cut it. Me? Yeah. Do you normally just go in half? Just in quarters. In quarters? All right. Yeah. Force it back in and the knife down. There you go. Right. Turn it. That is beautiful. Okay. I want one of those pizza oven in my house. I'll sell you that one. Oh. <laughs> Okay. And then we eat. And we eat. Okay. Let's say it. Pizza Nini! Mm. Oh. Oh. oh! Come on now. Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. good. Thank you. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll meet Scott's wife, Patty Nickens, right here at the deli. 